another motherfucking video! All right, uh, we're gonna talk about it when it saw fucking Venom Inc. the other day, fucking exhumed, Acid Witch, uh, fucking, uh, with the fucking forest and a wolf skull, good ass fucking concert. Um, before I get to that, I got a question about, uh, uh I am, fu it's like I'm baffled, I, I, I don't know, people's fucking retardation. Where we live, you know, the whole fucking nation's going through a fucking heat wave. So where I live, it's a fucking 100 degrees, 116 degree, 116 degree heat deficit or some bullshit. I see in the fucking neighborhood some motherfucker walking around with a fucking hoodie, the hoodie on over his head. It's 100 fucking degrees out there, and, I, and that's not the first time. I've seen stupid ass motherfuckers hot as shit wearing jackets and shit and beanies. This, I, like, I, when the motherfucker was there, I guess he was going to door to door trying to sell shit. He didn't come to my door, but if he did, I was going to open the door and ask him, hey, what the fuck is wrong with you? Does anybody, asking you, does, does anybody, can anybody get an answer why the fuck people wear that shit? Because it's not this, not, not the first time I've seen it numerous times. Fuckers skateboard with fucking beanies or motherfuckers with hoodies on, hot as shit. Comment, oh, I'm really fucking curious. Is it people, are people just that fucking stupid or is there a reason you wear that shit? Anyway, y'all. Uh, yeah, man, the other day we went and saw Venom. Venom Inc. It was a good fucking show. Overall, real fucking good. Um, Wolf Skull from uh, Houston opened up. Really solid set. Fucking band off. You know, looks metal. Thick, you know, they, they look the way a fucking metal band should. All fucking jackets and leather and spikes and shit and black. That's how it needs to be. They were put on a fucking great set. I really enjoyed it. Um, they did some tracks off their new newest uh, split 12 inch with uh, Exia, which was really fucking good. They played the track they have a, a music video for. I can't remember the name of the song. It's more slow, mid tempo, but good, solid fucking song. And actually, watching that band, I felt by myself watching the fucking drummer the whole time. This motherfucker was like really getting into it. He was almost, I don't want to say the star of the show, but he was fucking putting, you, you could tell he was into the fucking music. Good fucking shit. I, I thoroughly enjoyed their set. I enjoyed the, the band. Like I said, I got their split uh, 12 inch really fucking good. I know they have something else out, which I need to pick up. Good fucking band. If you haven't heard Wolf Skull, go check the shit out. Fucking solid, fucking just metal as fuck. Um, next up was uh, Enforced. Uh, I hadn't heard the band name, but I honestly, I never really listened to them until leading up to the show and then watching them. Good fucking solid thrash. They just played good fucking old school kind of metal thrash with a good chugga chugga riffs on there. I thoroughly enjoyed it. And again, they all looked fucking metal. I mean, they weren't wearing spikes and shit, but they still look metal they look fucking like men not like fucking motherfuckers wearing dresses and shit and that's the way it should be you know fucking hardcore brutal fucking metal great thrash metal since then, I'll probably go pick up some records by them because I, I checked them out online. Yeah, I still listen to shit online too sometimes, but I do buy the fucking records though. At least some fucking motherfuckers just listen to shit digitally or buy shit. You don't support a goddamn thing, you fucking pussy! But anyway. Yeah, enforced. I can't remember where they're in from. I know they're American. But I, I looked them up and researched. Good fucking band, man. Good solid thrash. Good little pit going on. 
Uh, next up was uh, fucking Acid Witch, who I've been listening to him for quite some time. They've been around, I think. I, ah, fuck. I, I get my shit mixed up because my fucking brain's kind of ma- mangled. But I, I think I first heard uh, Witch or Acid Witch back when I think they were on uh, Razorback Records. I have the shit. I got to go look at it. It's been a long time since I listened to it. But this was my first time actually seeing them live. It was pretty fucking good. I mean, it wasn't as action-packed as the first two bands, but it was definitely more uh, uh, setting a, a mood-setting type band. The singer was up there playing keyboard and singing, doing vocals like he's telling a fucking scary story or something. Pretty fucking cool. I think they worked pretty well it's like in the, between the other bands in the show. So it worked good, and uh, people were into it. Obviously, people weren't fucking slam dancing to the shit. The people were into the band, and they sounded pretty fucking good. Then fucking next up, motherfucking Exhumed, who I fucking love for... I mean, a long ass time. I mean, back with their fucking split with Hemdell, their fucking old seven inches, great shit, fucking gore metal. I've seen them before, but it's been quite some time since it's cool seeing them again. They're doing a good fucking solid show. That fucking drummer was just blasting back there. Good fucking high, high vocals, low vocals, back and forth screaming and Death Rails, where the fuck? Very good shit, played a lot of classic songs. Uh, then at this point, we've been fucking doing shots all night, just getting fucked up and yelling at people and shit. So we were feel, feeling pretty fucking good. A friend of mine, he threw up outside. Fucking, they have an area out in the back where he could smoke. He puked all back there and he was ready to keep on fucking drinking. And what's funny, the whole night, I was watching these bands and the pit was going crazy. There was this one motherfucker, he looked like some kind of weird ass slee stack looking motherfucker. If you remember Land and Lost, they had a combination the Slee Stack and the fucking Lizard off uh, V. You remember that shit with Mark Singer and Michael Ironside? The fucking 80s. Some weird ass looking motherfucker, but he had to have been 55, 60, and this guy was fucking going berserk in the pit all night. I was thinking, this fucking guy is gonna die. He, he's gonna be in an emergency room later. He's the next day he's gonna be laid up in fucking bed. But this guy, he looked like he was like just a, just a blob of shit that wasn't even in shape at all. But I guess he was just fucked up, probably taking drunk as shit. He was slamming his ass off that, that night. And what was fucking funny, after the we left, we saw, I guess some people were waiting. They had him laid in the, out in the back of a bed of a pickup truck. They had the tailgate down. And she was, he was laying there, this girl was all on top of it. And they had like fans or doing this, trying to cool him down. I guess he was fucking having a heart attack back there. Stupid ass motherfucker, but I guess, hey, if he fucking died that night, I guess he died in style because he fucking was heavy metal as fuck that night. But uh, finally, Venomine came on, old ass motherfuckers. It was the uh, uh, Mantis on guitar, and I believe it was the Batten on drums, I think. I, I, I guess that was him. I, I, at that point, I was pretty inebriated. Then uh, fucking Demolition Man, kind of funny, Demolition Man did play with them before, recorded some stuff. I know they also did put out that. Uh, uh, VHS Live Venom years ago, which I have that fucking thing. But hey, for these old motherfuckers, man, they were tearing it up and Demolition Man looked different. He looked all kind of shriveled up. He looked like that fucking wrestler, Baron Von Rasky. You know what I'm t- fucking talking about. But still, they were playing all the classic shit. They sounded good. And if that was a bad on drums, that motherfucker was beating the shit out of them. So hey, 
You know what, all these fucking pussies, oh man, I'm turning 40, I'm old, man, fuck off, motherfucker. Hey, these cocksuckers are fucking old as fuck, still fucking tearing it up. You don't have any excuse to be laid up in bed like a fucking bitch. But yeah, it was fucking good, man. It was funny. My friends are talking to some fucking fat bitch, and uh, I guess out in the back by the dumpster, he was so fucking drunk. I guess she was trying to get my fucking around the back. And he said he was so fucking drunk, his was just limp, and it was just like this in her mouth. And she got pissed off. And he just fell backwards. He was just laying there with his pants down. And that's where we found him like that. I said, what the fuck? He said the bitch was trying to suck his and he couldn't get his hard and he just fell backwards and she just walked off and left. Left his motherfucking ass like that. Anyway, yeah, that's my review of the show. It was a good fucking time. We got some more shit coming up. Fucking band Morning Red. We plan on doing a fucking new ass fucking uh, four song EP, which basically is gonna be some songs were on that, uh, what is it called? Hatred for Humanity. That's a, basically, that's a, a demo compilation, if you will. It, those songs were like uh, rehearsal tracks, which were okay, but these are going to be different versions, a little different. But uh, yeah, it'll be pretty fucking good, man. We've got some other shit, some more videos coming up, so uh, keep watching and keep watching, motherfucker!